and welcome back to a vlog. It's Monday morning and I felt like vlogging a bit this week, which is nice. I'm at home all week as well, which always I think makes for some nice vlogging material. And um, I'm at home filming all day today. Then later on I'm going out to meet a friend because one of my oldest friends from school, Connor, those of you who've been watching for a while might remember Connor from when I was in Manchester because we used to go out in Manchester quite a bit. We went to school together. Um, moves down to London, he moved yesterday. So I'm seeing him today and I'm so excited that he's living here now. Um, so that's today, I've got a lot of work to do. But I thought I'd quickly start off by talking some skincare because I think the last time I vlogged I was talked about how I went for an appointment about laser treatment on my skin to reduce the redness around my nose. I'm completely barefaced right now. So it's not that bad really. It's just one of those little things that bothers me. And I can't remember if I, I think I did tell you that I then wasn't going to go for it because they said I'd lose my freckles, which I didn't want to lose, but also I had a patch test and it's gone now, but it left a huge burn down the side of my face that scabbed up. It looked like a burn you get with your hair straighteners. It was really bad. So that's out the window. So I've been looking for products that are meant to reduce redness and I've got this one by La Roche-Posay, which I've been using for like two or three days now. Um, I think it said on it that you have to sort of use it for a week or so before you start seeing any difference. And as of yet, I'm not seeing any difference, but I thought I'd let you know about it. We could go on this journey together. Um, and then the other stuff that I've been using a lot recently is this La Roche-Posay um, face wash, which is really, 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 really good if you've got sensitive skin, because it's just like nothingness, but it takes all your makeup off. And then this, Aven, do I say it? Aven? I'm not sure. Um, moisturizer in the daytime, because it's got SPF. 20 and it's also really light. I do have quite sensitive skin. So yeah, um just gonna get ready so that I'm ready to start filming some videos today. Can this please go and focus? Oh, I'll be back. Not loving this miserable weather today. What happened to all the lovely sunshine we had when spring was here for a weekend? and then left us with this. So I just fin finished filming my video, which means one thing, giant mess to tidy up. Let's do. Ages will remember you from when we were in Manchester. Manchester now yeah. we're in London. Crazy. Connor moved yesterday. What am I doing? However, for those of you that watch Shot from the Streets YouTube channel, you will know that she talked about feeling overwhelmed and scared before she moved, and I am now feeling all of those things. But I'm here. Yeah. And we're just rolling with it. It's gonna be fine. Hopefully, it's gonna be fine. Everyone, send words of encouragement. <laughs> What's the thing? Comment below. <laughs> send me a thumbs up. Yeah, it's going to be so fine. You're going to have the best time. Yeah. Yeah. And shot from the street is going to be looking after me. I am going to look after you. Yeah, show me around. I will, of course, of course. But I've missed you all. I hope you've missed seeing me on the vlog. I'm now I'm in London. I can be on it a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Comment below if you want to see more of me. <laughs> Good evening, guys. It is. Tuesday evening, I'm just thinking where I can put you down. 
to show you what I want to show you. I've had meetings and stuff today. It's been uneventful. I'm about to sit down and work for the evening. Um, broken record here, but really uninspired at the moment. What is going on? It feels like a constant battle, me and inspiration. I'm just not feeling it. However, was sent something amazing, not sent, given, had a meeting with Nas this morning. Um, and perfect spot for you there. They, and they have given me, so I don't know why I've got my hood up. Actually, I've got my hood up because it keeps my fringe off my face. Use a hood like a headband. And they gave me this incredible box from the Nas Air Dem thing, uh, collaboration. Now I know you see lots of stuff like this. I never really get, I have to say this more often because I'm getting it sent more often, but I don't get sent as much beauty as a lot of people do. So I'm really not used to receiving things in packaging like this. I can see that I've, I can hear that everything's knocked around. But this is like vinyl kind of material. And then it all opens up. <laughs> ah, hello. And then oh, I moved around a bit and I took one of the lipsticks out. But it has all of these incredible products in. There's two eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to use them before I show you them first to see if I like really like the colours, you know, and like know what I like when it comes to makeup. And a lot of it is NARS, but this is also I've not tried from them before. A couple of blushes, lots of lipsticks. As I said, one of them I put straight in my bag. But it's so luxurious and you can take out this velvet bit so you can use this as something and I really want to want to have it on the coffee table in some way but I can't decide what I want to put in it I feel like you could do have it and like put tv remotes in it or something like that but then it's not like having the tv remote on the table causes me great offense so I don't know I'm trying to think about what I could use it for because it's absolutely beautiful and I have to say well done that aside from the cardboard at least they've created, it's really extravagant, but they've created something where the packaging doesn't just go in the bloody bin. I can reuse it for something which I'm thrilled for. So I got that today, that was a meeting that I had this morning. And as I said, now I'm gonna sit and work, make myself some dinner, light a candle, and got this one through the day from Anthropology. The library, the library at Candlefish, Cedar, Lime and Leather. It's really, really, really nice. So I'm gonna light that candle. Got any matches? And um, where are my matches? Oh, they're in the pot that you stood on. One minute. There we go. Back on the pot. Oh, blimey! Got them. Um. So yeah, that's me today. I just met my next door neighbours on this side, which is very, very, very exciting because they were doing up their house for ages, and I just met them, and they were absolutely lovely. So that was really nice. I'm excited that I got to meet them both, um, and they were so lovely as well. So, success, successful things all around. Let's crack on we work. I've literally rubbed all of my makeup off my face throughout the day. Strong look. Thought I would quickly show you guys how I draw on my images for my blog. Um, I do blog posts. Let me get it up. Where I write on the images. The last one I did was from Cypress and it had a lot of collaging stuff in it too. Oh no, actually, I didn't write on any of these. Um, gosh, I think the last one I've done would have been Coachella. But anyway, I shoot a roll of film every week. I've mentioned this so many times. And then do blog posts where I write on the images and I've been like doing collage stuff recently too. So, like this, and I get lots of questions of how I do it. So, I'm going to do a blog post all about film stuff, but basically they scan for them for the photos for you when you develop them. I go to Snappy Snaps and then they um, email you them. And then I have on my iPad Pro an app called Procreate, which looks like this one here. And then you just import the images in and you need to have the Apple pen, so pen or pencil. And I just draw on them. So this one, all, this photo came really out of focus. Um, I'll find the original. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, so it was super out of focus, and you couldn't. I wanted to like tell you guys what my favourite perfumes are, but you couldn't see it. So I have just been sat referencing them, the four of them, to write on there like that, just using this. And then I'll just export it back onto my computer 
and then put them all in a blog post. It's like hugely time consuming, but uh, very worth it. Sorry, I just accidentally drew a line. So yeah, that's all you need. I iPad, not all, obviously it's all expensive stuff, but iPad, the pencil, Procreate. I'm actually really pleased with how this has come out. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning and it is raining again. Sideways rain, by the looks of it. It's my favourite type. I'm just on my way out to um, go get my nails done. They're in desperate, desperate need. I'm going to film a video tomorrow, which I'm quite excited about. So I want nice nails for it. So it actually looks like it's snowing, but I'm hoping that's, that's just fat rain. No, it's definitely not snow. Can't be. No, it's not. No, it cannot be snow. Just fat rain. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that. Go to the shops to get something for lunch. Do you go through a phase where there's nothing you want to eat? Like, I'm hungry, so I've not got an appetite. I'm just like, what do I fancy? Nothing in particular, apart from chocolate. I've already had some today, so I can't have it for lunch. So I'm going to have to go to the supermarket and become inspired in some way. Anyway, move out. Went for red. Just done very short, but they'll grow. Now I'm just going to Tesco to get some stuff to make a salad for lunch. Hi, guys. I'm back now. Just about to make myself a salad. It's absolutely miserable out there. Horrible. Rainy, cold, just awful. So I'm gonna make myself tuna, avocado, and beetroot salad. Trying to be a bit more domestic and a bit less of Deliveroo's number one customer. relatively on top of my work at the moment, which is good. Got lots to shoot tomorrow, and then once I've done that, I think I'll be in a really good place with everything. So, yeah, I'm feeling all right at the moment, work-wise. I don't really have anything else to tell you, so I'm just gonna focus on making me salad, and I'll be back. Good morning, guys, it's about eight o'clock. I'm still way to the gym. I'm going to the new Soho House gym. I took a half an hour walk from mine, so I'm not doing a class or anything. I'm going under my own devices. I want to see what it was like, whether I could do like cardio there, because I don't really do any cardio at the moment. And then, I've got quite a nice balanced exercise routine. So that's where I'm on my way to now, and then for the rest of the day, I am shooting. I'll do my best to show you bits and bobs as we go. With that shooting, I look knackered, and actually I'm not that tired. I feel like it's just habit to like I'm so tired, but actually I feel quite well rested, so that's all I'm thankful for that. So back from the gym, got Buffy on in the background, if that's what you can hear. Um, it was so, so, so nice. The first time I've ever been to a Soho House gym, and like all of the products in the changing rooms were all cow shed and stuff. It was just such a wonderfully posh experience. So I did that, it was a longer walk than I was expected, so I feel like I've already walked miles today. I did lots of cardio, so I was sweating like a pig by the time I finished. Um, and now I'm just waiting for Dean to get here so we can get shooting. Thankfully, it is a beautiful day, and I'm gonna film a video. So we're gonna do two blog posts, one about film photography, one with some new trousers that I wanna shoot, and, and then we're gonna film a video, which hopefully won't take too long. We'll see how we get going with it. And then that's everything, really. Nothing else to tell you guys. Vlog, we're just having a drink in the garden. Between shooting and having an Aperol spritz as we go and there's... Oh. Dilly dilly. <laughs> and there's a cat as well, so everything I could possibly want is happening. Which is Stay lovely. Stay with me. Sorry, double knotted now, so I'm sorry. Teddy. I think I picked out a fucking banging outfit. Up and about, round this is. Look at that. Shut from the streets. Ready, ready? This is gonna be cool. Ready? In the car. Watch. <laughs> yes. So we ended up drinking a fair bit more than planned. Oh my god. Oh, we were in the pub until like 11 or something. 
we sat and drank in the garden and met Lindsay and went to the pub. And now it's like half seven and I've got to go to the gym for nine. I think I feel all right. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and then see and then wash my face and everything. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm all right. I don't think I'm that hungover, but that was really an impromptu heavy drinking session. I think we got some really good stuff shot yesterday. I'm excited to edit through all the footage that we did and things. Have a look at the photos and drop some film off as well. That's all my plans. But just, ugh. Just walking to the gym along Golden Road, which is one of my favorite roads around here. And it's very busy. All the markets getting going. Such a vibrant road, it's amazing. It's a favourite to walk down on the weekend. I'll we'll be heaving here all weekend long. But there's some like amazing bits and bobs you can get. It's so cool. Got this. Love it. We had a proper clean around the flat today and everywhere feels lovely. And I sorted through lots of shoes and made this whole bit tidy. Oh, it feels so much better been to the shops and treating myself to something really naughty. A donut from Donut Time. Peanut butter one. Oh my god. Hangover cure or what? This is exactly what I need in me right now. <laughs> so then just gonna sign off this vlog here. Focus, there we go. Um a bit oh, just, oh we're in focus now. There we go. Um, I really really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. It's the most sunshiny weekend ever in London right now and I'm feeling so good for it. So thank you for watching. Yeah, bye.